Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how you can create your online portfolio using Wix.com. So let's get started. First off, you're going to go to Wix.com and click on get started. And then you can sign up on Wix. So it's very easy to sign up. You can just put in your email and your password that you want, or you can connect your Wix account to your Google or Facebook account. So I'll get back to you guys any minute once I do that. So you can see over here, this is the Wix dashboard. So over here, you can see any of your sites that you have created. You can explore the Wix platform. You can see their updates, releases, inspiring websites and e-commerce school. And then you have your help and hire a professional. So you can see over here, you have your create new folder and create new site buttons. To create your website, you're just gonna click on create new site and a new tab will open for you. Now you can, answer a couple of questions regarding what kind of site you're wanting to create. So we're creating a portfolio and we're just going to click on that, make it next. So you now you have two options. You can either let the ADI artificial design intelligence of Wix that is available for free uh, to create the website for you by answering a couple of questions, or you can create your website using their editor and their templates. So I'm going to show you both of these ways because it's very quick, very easy. And I think we could do both of these in under 10 minutes. So let's get into it. First off, we're going to start with the ADI. I'm just going to click on start now. And now the Wix website will ask me a couple of questions. What kind of things I want in my website? If I want a subscribe form, of course, I'm making a portfolio. I don't want that. I don't want chat features either. I also do not want any kind of groups or online programs. Maybe I do want bookings because I am trying to make a portfolio. Maybe I'm a photographer. I want to have my bookings and all that. And yeah, that's about it. I'm just going to click on next. And then you, you are going to add your name. So let's just say Jane's photography. And then I'm going to click on next. And if you already have a website or a um, store, a pop-up store or a retail store, you can link that over here. I don't, so I'm just going to skip that. Now you're going to add your personal details. And now you are going to select your theme. What kind of theme do you want? So maybe you want a kind of... Hmm, what kind of theme are we going for, guys? I really don't know. I'm going to go for an agency theme. I'm going to continue. And now you are going to be provided with a couple of homepage designs that you might want to choose from. Let's just, maybe let's pick one of these. No, let's skip. Let's browse more. Let's be picky today. Now, we're just going to wait a couple of seconds. So over here, you can add specific pages to your site. So if you want to add a page for your work to, you know, display your work, obviously on a portfolio, you will want to do that. Uh, you're going to add this page. You're also going to add your about section, your contact section. So if anyone wants to contact you, they know where to contact you. Um, the Instagram feed uh, might be important, but it depends on the kind of industry you're working in. If you want to link your Instagram feed, if you're working in the media industry, you might want to do that. Let's just skip that for now and let's edit our site. Now the Wix artificial design intelligence is doing all of the hard work for you. You don't have to, you know, do all the difficult decisions all by yourself. You can just do that and here you have it. Now you can see a logo has been made. The top menu button is here. Obviously you're going to edit that. So let's just edit it. And then we are going to add a phone number add a button for getting in touch so where employers or anyone can get direct access to you and you, you know they don't have to scroll all the way down and now we are going to edit the site menu and you know the book online section maybe you don't want to add that or maybe you want to ma make it at the bottom so let's just move that down there so your home page your work page is the first thing that your future employer could see and now going back now for this section design you can even change that so just click on that and different kinds of layouts are going to be provided different color schemes are also provided now let's just say i want it to be pink because i really like pink and now my header has been changed into pink now let's move on so all you're really going to do once you have used the ADI is fill in your information. So whatever is your contact number or whatever is your getting in touch kind of situation, you're going to put that link over here. 
then you're just gonna change this about page so let's just click on edit and then you are going to change this um, paragraph this is like a standard paragraph so you can just change it to whatever you want so just like that you're just going to change your about section to whatever you might want to might want to display and once you do that all of your changes are auto saved so you don't have to worry about that and below that you have your my work section and you can move this up so let's just say maybe you want to move up your work you're just going to click on this move up arrow and it will move up that section of your website so the first thing people are greeted with is actually your work and then they get to you know know more about you and just like that you have created your own website and you can just publish it like this select a free domain provided by wix or if you have your own custom domain you can select that change the last word to maybe jane's photography and then you are just going to publish and continue and just like that your website has been published so you're just going to click on view site just to show you guys what it looks like and you can see over here the website has been published it's all professional, it's very tech savvy, it's, it's a good looking website and you wouldn't know that uh, someone who has no experience in web designing actually created this website, so that's great. So if you want to create your website using a template or you know you want to customize it a lot more than this, you're just going to do the same steps again. You're going to click on portfolio, you're just going to click on next, then you're going to edit a template. And here you are going to view all of the different kinds of templates available for creating portfolios. Um, let's just, you know, take a good look at all of them. So depending on the industry that you are working on, you're going to select a portfolio according to that. So maybe if you're modeling, you don't want to make a tech savvy portfolio. So let's take a look at this one. This looks very interesting. And let's start on this one because this is a political kind of uh, website portfolio, which is also very you know, surprising because that just means Wix has that large of a customer base that they have created templates for even um, political people and very large corporations and whatnot because they are such a popular website developer. I'm just waiting for this website to load. And now you can see this is the template editor. Obviously, it looks quite different than the uh, general ADI editor. And this is a lot more customizable, so you have a lot more liberty with your designing. You can see just by the text options that there is a lot more you could change. And you're just going to change all of the information that is present in the template to your information. So let's just say Jane Doe for, and then you can, you know, change everything else as well. So let's just say we are going to change this image. Obviously, you're going to change the image to an image of yourself. I'm just going to use some media from Wix. This looks like a good image. I'm going to choose this image. And now my image has been added to my Wix site. And obviously, I'm going to move it around to make sure, you know, it fits. So let's just make it fit like this. And let's move this over here to the bottom like that move this box over here move the image like that and you know just like that you can create your website using a template on wix and there is a lot more customization with the template so if you're a beginner i would say just use the adi but if you're someone that's nitpicky and you really like to you know take a dip into creative design make sure to use a template and just customize it to your heart's limit. So that was it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll catch you guys in the next one.